I believe I was aware of objects quite early in my childhood. Um, it probably had to do with my parents being ceramists and they created functional objects. In our everyday life, we were surrounded by cups, bowls and plates that they did. Objects has always been important to me. And I saw how details are important to the functionality and how beauty and craftsmanship are linked. Already after our first meeting, I thought a round table was what we should do together. Everything in your everyday life happens around the table, dining, playing, working. So I wanted to express the feeling of being together, being close around a table. Colors are essential to a project. Um, though you might end up not using too many bright colors or anything, slightly subtle tones um, can bring something and create a certain atmosphere. I have also tried to work with this sharp, soft appearance and the whole thing being a bit round. Um, so you have the loop frames in both the table and the chair, and the chamfer details and the, the radiuses. Um, you have the softness of the back curve. Um, so in a way it's as if something sharp and straight is melting, um, turning softer without losing character. It's not a huge chair and table, um, but the, the comfort is good. Um, in a way, it doesn't shout with its appearance. So I guess that's what I've been aiming at. I wanted to um, call the collection something related to round or circle or a gathering. And the Japanese word in, uh, meaning circle, seemed uh, quite perfect. And then a small thing also is that in Danish it means number one. Um, and I think that's quite a nice reference for this being our first project together. Japan and Scandinavia, they have a mutual crush on each other. That it also has to do with the attention to detail, appreciation of craftsmanship, and maybe also the vision about simplicity. These factors bring us together, more than just a style. <laughs>